before we start, we should mention it's a sensitive topic, might not be suitable for younger ears. Have you ever had a warning like that? <laughs> I know, right? This is right. Exciting. Sensitive topic. Uh, we are talking about sex after 50, Miss Maria. Yeah, sensitive. Well, okay. Well, many people think the older you get, the less sexual you become and that your sex life pretty much dies. But the reality is older people are often having better sex than young people. Uh-huh. I said that. Don't believe it. Keep watching. They're the generation behind the sexual revolution of the 60s and 70s. And now they're doing it again. From dirty talk on Grace and Frankie. You want to have sex? Oh, boy, yeah. To sex advice from Oprah and Gail. Wrap myself up with saran wrap. No, you Put, didn't. Yes, I did. Boomers are changing our perception of sex as we age. How would you describe sex at your age for you? Liberating. Fun. The older you are, the more you bring. We gathered this group of married couples and divorced singles for an honest and eye-opening chat about sex at 50 plus. With four grown sons, Romy and John say they have more time for sex, but after 30 years of marriage, keeping things hot means getting creative. So one of the things that I do is persona play. So when I want to be in the mood, I sort of like put on the costume and she's called Romette. And Romette. so <laughs> Romette is oh. sexy. A Romette will put on an outfit that she would normally not put on. She takes requests, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Older couple Chris and Liz say they still have an active sex life, even though they no longer have sex at all. I always think of sex as being two different things. One is the sex of the, the wrestling and the contortions, and, and then there's the sex of holding hands whenever you're together, of cuddling under the quilt. Do you consider yourselves to be in a sexless marriage? Oh, God, no. No, we, we touch constantly. We, we, touch. we still sleep in the nude. We love the feel of each other. Isn't that what sex is? I mean, sex isn't just so much the act as your intimacy, your trust with each other. Boomers are redefining sex when you're single, too. Mark says many of the postmenopausal women he meets online are raring to go even faster than he is. Sexually, Sexually. They're, they're like wanting like action. You find them wanting action like quick. Uh, I feel at the second date, they're checking, you know, yeah. it, what's the compatibility? Of, and I'm thinking, well, we like the same movies and we, we have, and they're thinking, <laughs> you know, well, how's this gonna happen? In fact, among singles over 50, most desire sex at least seven times a month. 45% are open to friends with benefits relationships, and boomers are one of the fastest growing demos in online dating. I quickly saw great people my age. Flocking to sites like Our Time, a dating app for older singles. Julie Spira is their dating guru. Our expiration date doesn't expire when you turn 50. She gave this single girl some tips in dating profile etiquette. Number one, your photos are worth a thousand words. Julie says, don't post misleading younger pics of yourself or any group shots. Who on the top photo um, is going to show up on the date? The brunette on the left or the brunette on the right? A potential date won't know exactly who I am. Instead, post photos doing activities you love. And that leads into tip number two, focus on the positive. You said that your profile is the best version of you. And this is kind of you're saying the worst version. It's like, I don't like camping or road trips. I call this my negative Nancy profile, and people want to see a positive and upbeat person. Now my producer made me create my own profile. Julie picked out my pics. I love this photo because it is the full body shot photo. It shows that you care about being in shape and that you're not afraid to show all of you. And she helped me stick to tip number three. Keep your wish list short and sweet. Now it's time to fill out your profile and talk about who you're looking for. What am I looking for? Um, so I think probably what everybody's looking for, kind, fun, funny, smart person. Kind, fun. Funny and smart. And smart. I told that to my brother the other day. He said, Jesus, Maria, that's so much. <laughs> it absolutely works and it will show you at your best. Okay, so I think that people may surmise by watching the end of that piece that you're... No, I was online. an example for everybody <laughs> so Did that they would that? know what to do. Yeah, yeah so I, I learned that that photo that I use on my website that I'm actually looking into people's yeah. eyes when I had no idea.
Is okay. that a good thing? That's, That's a good, good right? Thing. Yeah. That's Ow. good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go with that. No, but I did find this actually really yeah. inspiring. Boomers are continuing to break models all over the place. And, and they're actually having a lot more sex. And they're much more creative and much more, you know, inspiring than I think younger people are who are, have younger toddlers yeah. who are having no sex. Wow. It was interesting Which to hear that yeah. couple talk about, yeah. I guess, their definition of sex. Yes, and I yeah. thought that was super inspiring, that people are saying, you know, it's a big subject and it can be emotional, spiritual, physical, emotional, mm -hmm. all of Maybe things. romance is a better word for yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, you know. We can do a story on that, kind of the new definition of sex. Yeah. It's romance, it's intimacy. And I think that that couple was super inspiring yeah. and interesting. Everyone, the interview was over. Everybody got up and went over and talked to that. <laughs> yes. so I want to be like you. Wow. How'd you do that? How do you work that yeah. out? What does connection mean? But it makes sense too, because you know you're older, you're more confident, you're mm -hmm. more at peace. You don't have little kids hanging right. on to yes. you. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, you're getting more sleep supposedly. So I think that's what's interesting is that the young people are the ones that are really struggling in this department. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Maria. You're all yeah. suffering. <laughs>